So I've been playing around with the new uh, cannon mod that came out for um, Create, and uh, I just, man, I just had to make an airship. So, I mean, I've been a fan of airships since I was a kid. I grew up playing Final Fantasy, so uh, I just had to make one. So, I mean, this thing, it's got propellers that move. It's actually the, um, the windmills that power the ship. It's got fully automated cannons. Um, and I mean the ship can move too. So let me show you. Uh, let me show you how this works. So what we've got here is the uh, airship engine setup that I've made. So uh, what we have is a push-pull system with uh, pistons. Um, there, everything is controlled by windmills. So that's uh, going forward is piston-based. All right, and then we have rotation, which is uh, powered by the uh, the tall propeller in the back. Um, the up and down is controlled. Uh, it's rotation. So when you go up, it rotates a half circle upwards, and when you rotate. Uh, when you go down, it rotates a half circle downwards. So let's have a look at how the cannon reloads. So one of the big things about this build is the auto-loading cannon. Um, how it works is there's a system of deployers and uh, mechanical bearings that uh, places the powder and explosive at the right time and uh, rotates it to the correct orientation. There's also a fusing system so uh, since we use the high explosive shells, we need to put an impact fuse on it. So there's some additional logic uh, for the mechanical bearing associated with the high impact explosive. And there's also an extra deployer for the fuse. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the captain's quarters. It's the nicest room in the ship. It's got a great view. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, I'm using the Distant Horizons mod, which lets you see out much further. One of the cool things about this build is there's actually two places where you can control the ship and the main gun from. Uh, you can do so from the back of the quarter deck, or you can do so closer to the gun in the front, um, which gives you a better view for, uh, for aiming. There's uh, also a second gun, so this one is uh, bronze, it's manual, and it's in the front of the ship. So uh, once I finished this build, I said, hey, I think there's room here. So uh, this is what I managed to do uh, with the space available, and I think it works all right. And here's a view of what it looks like from outside the ship. The inspiration for this build comes from a game called Final Fantasy IV, and in part of that game, you fly an airship around the Underworld. So I had the idea of flying around the Nether. Let's have some fun as we fly around down here. Oh hey, there's a ghast. I had a lot of fun making this build, so uh, contrary to a lot of my other builds, I already had most of the technical parts down. So this is really putting parts that I had already designed together and I think I was able to be a bit more creative with this build rather than technical. As always, I'll be putting a link to the schematic in the description, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.